Hi, this is Theo from PocketBlocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how I review this Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. This video is actually a remake. I've decided to remake this video because in my original video I have received a lot of useful information in the comment section. So I've decided to update this video with those information. So this is the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. It comes with a ink cartridge that looks like this and this ink cartridge is not refillable it's supposed to be disposable so after you finish you can just throw it away but if you want to buy the ink cartridge it costs around us 80 cents to a dollar so it's actually more economical for you to refill this ink cartridge on your own rather than buying the disposable ones so today i'm going to show you how to do that the tools you need would be of course the pocket brush pen ink i'm using rotring ink because it's waterproof and dry i like to use my uh, pen with watercolor so i need waterproof ink you also need a needle and syringe i will put a link to where you can find this in the video description below and this clip i'm going to show you how to use this clip later in my original video someone pointed out that i was using insulin needle and syringe to refill ink this is actually not the best option out there and through trial and error I have wasted a lot of money so stringers like this they do not work because the tip is too big and when you put it into the cartridge like this it's going to block off the air from flowing out so you cannot squeeze ink into it because the air cannot come out so for syringe like this you actually need to, need to attach a needle to it so these two are out and I, I'm not sure where I got this but this is usable but I need to have a syringe to actually screw this on so I do not have that so I cannot use this as well and this is not the best option so I went online to do a search and I found the best needle the most affordable needle and syringe for ink refilling purposes and this is it what I like about this is the tip is blunt so it's safe to use it has a long needle so you can actually put it quite deep into the ink cartridge it comes with a cover so you can put it on and put this into your pencil case to transport it you can dismantle this for washing the capacity is 1 ml so you can actually fill this ink cartridge in one go and it's very affordable i bought this in a pack of 10 each one costs around 70 cents us currency so if you want to buy this one the link is in the video description below i have poured some rotring ink into this bottle so that it's easier to use with the syringe some viewers have said that dr ph martin's ink they work well with pentel brush pen so um, you can try either and now I'm going to use my clip to hold this cartridge so that it doesn't move around that much. So let's try and get some ink into the syringe. So that is 1 ml. Let me put this away. and just refill it I think it's best to put some newspaper or paper beneath it so that it doesn't get messy after putting this back you should let the ink flow down for a while before you use it I actually have two of this so that I don't have to refill this when I run out of ink when I'm outdoors so this is how rotring ink looks like and this pocket brush pen the ink is very dark and it's waterproof and dry the flow is quite nice and of course if you draw very fast you can get a dry brush effect The refilling process is very simple so you can do it very easily on your own you just need the right equipment 
and in return you can get to save some money this is the dr ph martin black star some people say that it works with this pentel brush pen this has a capacity of 30 ml so you can actually refill this cartridge 30 times now if you were to buy 30 cartridge that would be 30 dollars but this bottle is only 10 dollars so that's a uh, good cost savings that's all for today's video if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments section thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful bye